Shalom, Israel. Shalom. It's your brother Shopper. Wanted to come back in, do a uh, lesson. You know, uh, before I get started, all praise is due to the Most High Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Makahat Kodash. Double honor to the apostles at Great Millstone, the rule well that I learned from, continuously learned from. To the hopeful elect scattered abroad, to the four corners of the earth, likened unto a speckled bird. Greeting, salutations to the brothers and sisters watching. Shalom, right? So, um, so yeah, so I was watching the apostles yesterday, right, live, and they was, you know, bringing out, you got all, you know, three, four, you know, the apostles out there. They, they, you know, going through scriptures and, you know what I mean? So, and, um, Apostle Tahar, um, made a comment. He said, um, he said, you know how you stay motivated is you watch lessons and people bring out, you know, when somebody bring out a scripture or somebody post a scripture in the comments section and, you know, you, 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 you know, write them out, write, write certain scriptures down and you bring them out, right? So this what this what um inspired me this this lesson. We gonna go to um start off with Luke. Start off with Luke. Luke chapter nineteen, verse twelve. All right. Yeah, Luke chapter 19 and 12. And this is Yahusha speaking. And he said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. But his citizens hated him. And sent the message after him saying, we will not have this man to reign over us, right? And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Then came the first saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well, thou, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in very little, and have authority over ten cities, right? And the second came, saying, Lord, thy pounds have gained five pounds. And he said likewise to him, Be thou also over five cities. And another came, saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. For I feared thee, because thou art an Austrian man, thou takest up that thou layest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. Right? 22. Luke 19 and 22. And he saith unto him, out of thy own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knowest that I was an Austrian man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then gavest thou slaki? Wherefore, this is Luke 19.23. Wherefore then gavest not thou my money into the bank? That at my coming I might have required my own with usury. And he said unto them that stood by, Take from him the pound and give it to him that hath ten pounds. Right? And so so this is basically um uh, let's go to 26. For I say unto you that unto every one which hath Half shall be given, 
and from him that hath not even that he have shall he have shall be taken away from him right so basically it's it, it's telling the story of the 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 men that the um that Yahweh Shah gave um the knowledge of of this this truth to and the one guy he went out and he did what he had to do and, and, and increased it by 10. The other guy increased it by 5. Then the other guy, scared with the knowledge, hit it and just put it, wrapped it up and put it in a napkin. And so, you know, the Most High, uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, is not opening up your eyes to this knowledge for you to wrap it and put it up in a, in, in a napkin, right? Because, look, let's get to this one. You know, cause, cause, um, you want to go to Job 18 and 14, right? Book of Job 18 and 14. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle and it shall bring him to the king of terrors, right? The king of terrors. That's the most high. That's, that's the king of terrors, right? So let's go to this one. Second Peters. Second Peters three and fifth, three and five. It's a lot. It's the book of Second Peters three and five. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the the word of the power. The heavens were of old. And the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the word that that then was being overflowed with water perished by the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of the ungodly men. But, beloved, be not ignorant. Of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. See Mr. See Mr. Squirrel up there? Where he at? Right there. I think you can see him right there on the edge of the... He right there on the edge of the... You can get him from over here. There you go. See him? That's where he like to eat at. He'll sit right there and eat. So I just put the put the crackers out. So he'll come up there, he'll grab them. He'll sit right there and eat. That's my guy. That's my guy. Mr. Squirrel, my guy. Right? It's a lock here. But 2 Peter's 3 and 8. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us inward, not willingly, Salaki, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to recompense. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burnt up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be? In all holy conversation. Right? So you see things like this. In the scriptures. And these are the things that. That you don't hear from Pastor Porkchop. Pastor Porkchop ain't telling you stuff like this. You know what I mean? Because they trying to live lavishly. They trying to they trying to live live out. They, you know. They trying to get their um, they rewards right now in this kingdom. That's what they living for. Micah 3 and 1. 
and I say here, I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and ye princesses of the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment? Micah 3 and 1. And I say, here, I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and ye princes of the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment? Right? keep going you know because you also you go you know you got the parable oh here you go you got this one right here Let, let's go over here for a minute book of matthew 25 and 1 this the the, the parable of the, the the five virgins the, the ten virgins slacking then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps, while the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. See, so what what do you want to be? What 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 are you trying to be? You want to be out here leaking oil? You want to be the, the the five foolish virgins? So I'm not trying to be the foolish virgin, man, because because you know the more you read the scriptures, you see that all them rosy things that they was telling you is not accurate. They not it's not accurate. It's it's not accurate that you know IUIC still out here telling people that. Um, what did he say? He a brother came up and asked him about the mark of the beast, and he said mark of the beast is not not the um the chip that's described in Revelation thirteen sixteen, Revelation fourteen nine, Revelation twenty and four. He says that it's um it's sinning. Mark of the beast is sinning, and he he couldn't get into it. I, I can't get into it right now. What do you mean? We in the times where they did Operation War Speed. They they delivering the vaccines tomorrow. So he can't get into it. But you out here trying to save souls. Ridiculous. Pure madness, man. Pure madness. Pure madness. It's it's that's the most important thing on the deck right now. And you gotta warn people that yo, this is what's coming up. And if you don't watch out, you're gonna be faced with you gonna you gonna face death. You're gonna face death, man. See, they be coming, they be getting them and hiding them. They come and get the crackers and they be hiding them. <laughs> Word. One day I was like, man, it's it, it, he looked, it wasn't nothing under there. He ran up under the furniture I got up up, up out there. And boom, he came out with some more. I said, wow, Mr. Squirrel got smart, huh? We're going to start at Ezekiel. This is the book of Ezekiel. We're going to go to 6. Ezekiel 6 and 6. In all your dwelling places, the city shall be laid waste, and the high places shall be desolate, that your altars may be laid waste and made desolate. And your idols may be broken and cease. And your images may be cut down. And your works may be abolished. And the slain shall fall in the midst of you. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. See, but this is the part right here. Ezekiel 6 and 8. Yet will I leave a remnant that ye may have some that shall escape the sword among the nations when ye shall be scattered through the countries. And they that escape of you shall remember me among the nations, whether if they shall be carried captives, because I am broken with their whorish heart, <laughs> which have departed from me, and with their eyes which go a whoring after their idols, and they shall lot the themselves 
for the evils which they have committed in all their abominations. And they shall know that I am the Lord and that I have not said in vain that I would not do this evil upon them. See? See? Let's read that one again. And they shall, this is Ezekiel 6, chapter 6 and 10. And they shall know that I am the Lord and that I have not said in vain that I would not do, I would do this evil unto them. 11. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, smite with thine hand and stamp with thy foot and say, Alas, for all the evil abominations of the house of Israel, for they shall fall by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. See, so, you know, most of the Israelite groups, they talking about what Esau going to get and what, what you know, what's going to happen to the other nations. It starts with us, man. It starts with us, man. It starts with us. Judgment starts with the house of Israel, man. Let's continue. Ezekiel, we're going to go Ezekiel 3 and 17. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So that's that's what that's what we out here doing. We out here warning people, man. And 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 I know it ain't a it ain't a it, it, it ain't a fun job. It ain't it ain't like 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 the apart like the apostle Gabar said the same thing that I was saying. So I thought I was a little bit wrong for saying it that you know what I'm saying? But he said the same thing. Like nobody came into this thing thinking like, yo, I wanna be out preaching the Bible. You know, or maybe it was a apostle a Ramla. But but you know, he said the same thing. Like you don't come into this thing saying or thinking that, yo, I'm going to look for the, the scriptures and then once I find the scriptures, I'ma be out telling my people all this this stuff that destruction and stuff that's coming. That's not what you know, that's not what we doing, right? And so, um, yeah, hey, let's go to this one. Let's slide it. Let me go here then. This is the book of Titus. And we're going to start at nine. The book of Titus, chapter 9. I mean, Salakia. Book of Titus, chapter 1, verse 9. Holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of circumcision, right? So it's the Israelites that know they Israelites, and they going south. They 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 out here with the with the false doctrine, telling you them them smooth things. They tell they they telling you the smooth things, right? Ten Titus one and ten, for they are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of circumcision. Whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not, for filth 
Lucre's sake. And Lucre is is L U C R E. That's profit, right? Like money, profit, not profit, profit like that. For profit, money for profit. Twelve. Titus one and twelve. One of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said to the Cretans, "Are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies." This witness is true. Wherefore rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in faith, right? Not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. 15. Unto the pure are things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their mind and conscience is defiled. They profess that they know Yahweh, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. See? So this is why I come out here, man, and you know, and, and you know, I you know you you got no other choice. You got no other choice. You reading all this stuff in the scriptures and you seeing it in there and you know it's no way around it. It's no it's no way around it, man. It's no way around it. It's nothing that you could um I mean, you could go in there and pick out verses and and tell people nice sweet thing and um but you'll be li you'll be lying to them. You'll be lying to them. You'll be lying to them. You would be lying to them. You would be you would be lying to them. We are gonna get this one. We are gonna close out with this one, and then we are gonna get out of here. Cause yeah, I I, I wrote this I wrote this let this this wrote this up last night. And stuff like that. And you know. So I was like. Yeah I got to come out. I got to do this one. So here you go. Isaiah 30 and 8. Now. Go write it before them. In a table. And note. It in a book. That it may be. For the time. To come. Forever and ever. So. This is what the scriptures is. The scriptures. You know, it's for now. It's to tell us what's, you know, to, to explain to us what the mark of the beast is. To, to explain to us um, who the um, who the wicked is as as pursuant to Job 9 and 24. You know what I'm saying? To to tell you that, hey, the Most High, he lo he loved Jacob, but he hate Esau. And he had indignation with Esau forever. You know, it's it. this is for us, man. It's for us. So we know what's going on. 30 and 9. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesize not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesize deceits. So, we could come out here and lie to you. And all that. But then how could people get prepared? If they was lying, people was out there lying or whatever, I might have never woke up. You know what I mean? So, so yeah. So, I just wanted to explain to that. You know, fear the Lord. Fear the Most High. Fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Fear of uh, recompense. Fear of being judged. And understanding that judgment start at the house of Israel. And... If you know the truth, if you know the truth, once you wake up to the truth and you ignore it, you're going to get done, dealt with worse, according to the scriptures. So, yeah, so I, I, I hope, you know what I'm saying? I hope um got something from this one, took something out of this one. Um, as always, all praises to the Most High Yah, by Shem Yah Shai. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone. You know what I mean? To the brothers and sisters out there watching. You know what I mean? 
Remain spiritual. Remain spiritual, Israel. Shalom.